Hey everybody, Justin from FrugalSnobs.com. I'm Barker Snobs. Say hello. Hello. Happy spring, everybody. As we record this review, it is, I believe, the second day of spring 2021. So you can figure that out for yourself in terms of month, etc. So we brought everybody a, another quick drink review. Now, usually, um, I will usually MC these reviews with Christina's assistance, yes? Yes. And usually we... Uh, Take care of these reviews for beer, yeah. typically. In this case, though, we have something special. Christina, you picked this up, and this is the review for the Truly Raspberry Tea Hard Seltzer. Yes. Yes? So, you picked this up, I think, as part of a clearance six-pack for yourself. Yes. And um, it's very rare, folks, that we get to clearance six-packs of uh, brews for ourselves. So, we picked up some interesting picks, uh, very affordable, and we'll be reviewing those over the next, uh, I guess, coming weeks, right? Yes. Okay. So for this truly raspberry tea hard seltzer, so Christina, you're, you're not much of a drinker. No. Um, neither really am I. I'm a, I'm a beer guy, a wine guy. Um, and we do review beers, and there's a number of them available uh, wherever you enjoy the video content from the Frugal Snobs, whether it's on YouTube or elsewhere. Wherever you enjoy the content, please do subscribe. It helps us out. Like, share, post, all that good jazz. Check out the Frugal Snobs podcast as well. Everything you need to know is at frugalsnobs.com. Now, for this particular uh, 12-ounce serving, it's a 12-ounce can, correct? Yes. Okay. So, 12-ounce can, uh, 5% ABV, correct? Yes, with 100 calories. Really? Yes. Jeez. Okay. Oh, is that, the, the reading the side of the can is utterly hilarious. Okay. Interesting. No fat, 20 milligrams of sodium, no protein, no D, 4 milligrams of calcium. Ingredients, filtered carbonated water, alcohol, natural flavors, I like citric that. acid. Hold on. Hold on. Ingredients, alcohol. <laughs> I love it. That's yeah. funny. I mean, it, it's, it's so funny to read. There's blued, brewed black tea. Okay. Sodium citrate and CBS sweetener. Gotcha. That's okay. just part, most of the ingredients. Gotcha. I, then, including the most important one. Alcohol. That's so yeah. generic. Just alcohol. Yeah. One gram of sugar, two, gra two carbs. There's your can. Nice. Can you see the can? You can just hand it to me, folks. So, um... Do not confuse this with energy drinks, by the way, folks. It is served in a tall can. So don't confuse this with energy drinks and, again, enjoy responsibly. So um, to me, I'm somebody who actually drinks regular seltzer. I don't drink the hard seltzer. I usually, again, like I said, drink beer and wine. But, Christina, you tried this. And what did you think of it? I mean, I have my impressions. I sipped it as well. But what did you think? It needs to grow on you. I mean, I'm not, as, as everyone knows, I'm not an alcohol person. That's fine. But the more I drink it, the more I taste it the tea aspect of it really so when i sip this i could i could what well, how to put this i could taste the alcohol in it more so early yeah and maybe the tea comes later as it grows on you as you yeah. sip through it um i thought it was okay i mean maybe it grows on you after a while but since again since i'm a beer and wine guy more so than anything else um i'm just not a, a, a seltzer tea type guy but it looks I mean, like tea of course it does. It's grown-up tea. Bubbly tea. It's bubbly grown-up tea. Um, Not for you, Junior. That's right. That's right. It's an adult beverage, as I call it. Yes. That's right? I'm going to go home and have myself an adult beverage. So would you enjoy it as a standalone or with food? I mean, it would definitely pair well with mostly anything. Okay. Gotcha. So it's a sippable. Something you could probably sell on the porch on a spring day. And oh, yeah. Too, right? Or a nice hot summer day. Maybe. But again, you got to watch alcohol in the consume summertime. Consume responsibly. Yes. Consume responsibly. And remember, folks, when it's warm out, be careful. Um, as always, you want to enjoy responsibly, like Christina was saying. Um, snob rating, what would you give it? Probably three and a half. Stars? Roughly, yeah. Star snob rating? I'd, I'd probably do the same, three to three and a half. Like I said, folks, I mean, I tasted it as well, and I could definitely taste the alcohol in it, and maybe it does grow on you over time. It does. But it's, it's not bad, folks. I mean, if you want something different out of the ordinary, and you just didn't want, uh, hard ciders or typical beer or things like that, um, it wouldn't be something that, that would be too bad to try, no. right? I mean, if you're a Lynchburg lemonade type or a Mike's Hard lemonade type, this might be something for you. And I think uh, it's kind of like the Twisted Teas as well. I mean, we haven't reviewed those yet, but I think there's some elements there that would be interesting for everybody. Agreed. All right. So you want to get out of here? Yes. All right, folks. Hope you enjoyed the review for the Truly Raspberry Tea Hard Seltzer. Um, as always, please be sure to enjoy response, but check out all the other videos wherever you enjoy content from the Frugal Snobs. You can check out the Frugal Snobs podcast as well. Everything you need to know is at frugalsnobs.com. You can also go to support.frugalsnobs.com and support us for as little as 99 cents per month. But as always, the best support is to subscribe, like, share, post, etc. Be well. Never pay retail, everybody. Take care of yourself and each other.